All right, so I'm doing Modern Warfare, and right now my FPS is about 45. I'm on the 3200G. Let me just go over my graphics real quick. So I'm on full screen mode. Uh, my resolution is basically as low as it can go, 720-ish, um, 750. Um, but I have all low settings, all low settings. And I've everything's off, and I do try to do a little bit of anti-aliasing, but I'm going to, when I play Modern Warfare, um, in Warzone, I actually like to have this all the way down, otherwise it's actually pretty bad. So let me show you how this gameplay works a little bit, but again, I'm, I'm running very low FPS. Uh, this might not be the best G, uh, graphic situation for this kind of a game. But yeah, let's see how this works. So now we're in the plane, and I'm getting actually about uh, 17 uh, FPS right now in the plane, which is expected. So let me just get into, uh, jump out of the plane, and I'll jump down, and let's see what... The FPS turns into. Sorry for the poor quality of video. It's just I don't want to stream anything from my computer because it'll just put more strain on the computer chip, and I'd rather not have that happen. All right, so I'm at 50 FPS right now, jumping down, uh, just to downtown. Quality is pretty low, but it's as best as I can do to actually make it a good experience. Let me grab something here and see how it goes. See if I can find an enemy. Uh, 41, yeah. I mean, it's not horrible, but, uh, you know, not horrible for the system I'm on, but, you know, for an internal graphics card, it's doing well. Uh, but obviously, you'd want something more discreet for this. But I'm, I'm able to play a little bit if you're, if you're okay with this, and if this is going to get you by. It's better in uh, multiplayer. Ooh, there we go. We got a, an, an enemy here. Where are they? There they are. Just killed me. All right, now I got the Gulag. Still about 40, 60 FPS. Nice. I mean, okay. So let's. Like, now I'm going to switch gears to. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this game. I'm going to switch gears and go to multiplayer real quick. And it's a little bit better of an experience. I can add anti-aliasing, but let me just show that real quick to you. All right, so here I am in multiplayer. Let me just choose a quick loadout here. Let me go to my settings here. I'm gonna turn anti-aliasing up because I actually noticed that you can increase that in um, multiplayer because there's less VRAM being used. So this looks a lot better now. Um, so if you're if you're using Call of Duty to just play um, multiplayer and you're okay to go in low, low settings, I'm actually getting an okay experience of 720p right now. Uh, but again, I mean, it's not ideal, of course, but. Let's just run around here, see if I get any kills, but yeah. I'm in shipment, of course, so I'm just getting killed automatically. Here we go. Get that guy. There we go. There we go. Oh, I killed teammate. My bad. Oh, <laughs> kill my teammates. Hang on. <laughs> Let's see here. What's available? Yeah, actually, this is not a bad experience. It's just, obviously, you're not going to be able to sight down things very easily. Um, so, anyway, I'm running about 40 to 60 um, on low, low settings around 720p right now with full anti-aliasing. Let me go ahead and switch anti-aliasing to all the way off and see what happens then. Let's see what my... Uh, I'm getting a little bit higher, not much. So, anyway, just want to make sure you guys can see this uh, in case that you're wondering if you can run this on an internal graphics chip. I definitely recommend if you're trying to play Modern Warfare, invest in a discrete graphics card. But if this is all you can afford for now, you can make it work. It's just not going to be ideal at all. So thanks for watching.